Today is the last day of filming. We are exactly six days away from the NPC Nationals. I'm going to be flying down to Miami on Thursday morning. Um, the past six days have been carb depleting, and I'll do this the remainder of the week and do a heavy carb up um, days prior to the show. I'm drinking close to 300 ounces of water a day at this point and consuming maybe 20 grams of carbs. Still having to work out for two and a half, three hours a day. I'm up to almost an hour of cardio a day plus my weightlifting. Um, I'm in the gym seven days a week at this point. You know, it's the final week to the show, so I'm really pushing it. Feeling pretty good overall. Um, overall, the prep has been manageable. Of course, there's ups and downs like any other contest prep, but knowing that it's nationals, I push myself much harder this time. Come on, brother! brother and my trainer. Chris is there for his clients 24-7 whether I'm his sister or not. <laughs> Chris is very dedicated and motivated in helping his clients achieve their goals. He's there for his clients 24-7. Doesn't matter, you know, if it's holiday, doesn't matter if it's the middle of the night, he's always there for his clients. Nutrition plans, you know, workouts, everything. He's just there for everybody, no matter what. Monica, I'm Chris's fiance actually. We got engaged two months ago, so we were already prepping. He was prepping and I was prepping for the New England. At the beginning of our relationship, when we moved in together, we decided to um, create like a time to date. So despite the fact that we live together and we, you know, kind of run in and out um, with our busy schedules as trainers and as competitors and prepping, um, we decided to like have a day a week that we go out and do an activity. So sometimes it's movies, sometimes it's, um, you know, Six Flags, sometimes it's just a dinner or lunch or sometimes a gym date when we're both prepping. Uh, sometimes we're seeing his family uh, or friends but we create the time to kind of spend together because during the day he gets up at five in the morning and I do too. He goes to work, I go to the gym, um, so I exercise and then he ends his shift and he goes to exercise but I'm still training at work. We kind of sometimes see each other during the day. It's very difficult. It's very difficult with our crazy schedules. So sometimes during the day we barely see each other even though we have this window of free time during the day uh, that technically normal people don't have. So it would seem like it's easier but it's not. His heart condition and his um, the, the, the story where he ended up at the hospital was very scary to me. I uh, 
remember this very vividly and I don't think I'll ever forget it. We were sleeping and I was exhausted. It was Tuesday from Monday night to Tuesday night and um, he woke up just sweating profusely and his heart was just about to come out of his chest and um, we ended up going to the hospital and he ended up staying there for a day or a day and a half um, and he was defibrillated three times. That was very, very scary. I think he was kind of drugged up and kind of sleepy and he didn't really realize what was going on. And I was just, it was so scary. Um, you know, it's hard. Chris pursuing his dream is, I'm proud of him and I'm glad that he's still trying to pursue it, but it definitely makes me a little bit nervous that he has a heart condition while he's still training and he's so dedicated to it. It's a really intense program that he's going through, so I am definitely concerned about his heart. Life's a bitch, I'm just celebrating fucking it. Table full of bottles, now it's looking like my bucket list. Forward thinker, I ain't one to regress. Paying no mind to these bitches, they just come with success. I spent Christmas as giftless, way too many December's broke. Never got a stamp, but found a way to push the envelope. They told me I'd be dead, I'd never make it out. If I ain't accomplish shit else, at least I erased the doubt. I'm so unassuming, I can't figure why I'm hated now. Even made depression seem like that wasn't a major bout. My dream's big, niggas tried to take them down. The jewel is in the perspective, not the other way around. See, my persona is karma, Obama blended with Dharma. Ever ponder your karma, mignon, I can see a llama. And if a nigga do, won't be complaints from me. I'll be all good with it. I did all I could with it. Just so, chasing a dream, doing what they say. I couldn't have spending money the government say I shouldn't have uh, and I'm taking my team with me cause if none of it's real my niggas gonna dream with me peak week last week and this week so for two weeks so uh, very very low carbs about 18 grams a day lifting for 90 minutes to 2 hours plus an hour cardio almost no fuel that's our friend though Guns I popped off, he was away by then. Had to do seven in that eight by ten. Came home to no belongings. Everything to gain and nothing to lose. I'm in the polar opposite shoes. He wonder why we ain't as close as we was. How can I say it's been years? I'm not the Joe that I was. He see the car, the crib, a few chicks, and think it's kind of fruition. If he knew the tuition I paid when few were different, then we'd be in agreement. Cash won't be a grievance. Damn playing my achievements. Afraid of how you receive them. Our bond is forever. I ain't gotta hide that. If I got, then you got. You can tell your pride that. I share it all. No complaints from me. Sometimes we all need a hand. Real niggas understand. Let's go. Chasing a dream, doing what they say I couldn't have. Spending money the government say I shouldn't have. Uh, and I'm taking As a competitor myself, I'm very, very excited to go and watch him. I just competed two weeks ago myself, so I'm still in that good shape. So I, I can go there without the shame. I said to him, oh, are you going to be okay with your fiancé being here and not in the top shape? But um, it's going to be fun. It's a huge show. Um, he puts so much time and energy and effort and money and just commitment into this so I'm very very proud of him and I'm very excited I can't wait been in a room with me fuck my perception all of it is deception can't fuck just the fuck gotta use my discretion but that don't take away from the blessing nah I do it all over within a second providing for the fan beats riding in a lamb riding for the fans feel like catching lightning in a can understand was built for this made for it Pray for it, forget I even get paid for it. Forced to learn the game on our own without the coaches. Um, but because I think of my focus, it wasn't as hard this time because I wanted so bad. And I'm not going to settle for anything other than a pro card. Um, I checked the last couple of years of the class F class, which is I think over six feet, which is what I'll be in, six one. And uh, there were like 45 guys in the class, so that means I have to take out 43 of them in order to get that pro card. So pushing hard to the end of the week, very little energy, not really sleeping that well. But with only six days to go, that's going to give me the motivation to finish this prep strong and come in at uh, the best condition possible. So I'm really looking forward to being on stage and taking home that victory.